If you have some mobility concerns, I want you to see the swing cane from Dynamo. There really is nothing else like this in the marketplace today. The gentleman who created it had instant credibility when I met him because he had over a thousand days of his life walking with crutches or a cane. He had multiple, multiple surgeries to alleviate pain and he knew what it was like to have to walk with a piece of equipment that gave you assistance. The most important part of a cane flat out is the bottom. It's the only part that makes contact with the ground. So I want you to see this. This is the coolest thing. I'll get my feet out of the way. I can lean with this one way or the other and that foot stays locked to the ground. When it lifts, it lifts the exact same way your foot does when you're walking. It, it has toes and a heel. It gives you remarkable stability, unlike any other cane that I had ever seen. Now there's other things that make it unique. So let me bring my friend in. Okay. Oh, by the way, the blue is finally back into inventory. I, we waited for months to get the blue back in. The green is also back in stock, but much, much more limited. Uh, in the green, I've only got uh, fewer than 800. And in black, it is sold out. Uh, if you saw last hour, you saw Denise Repco. She is also the representative for Dynamo Canes. I like that this gives you a much bigger handle. It's a much comfortable, more comfortable design. And you just, you can rely on that stability. Absolutely you can. And you mentioned Will Scott, the gentleman who had 17 knee surgeries, a thousand days on crutches, walkers, or canes. No real innovation, didn't really help him. This honestly, yeah. in my estimation, the best cane ever. Why? Because of what you just said about the foot. This articulating foot, the swing cane foot, actually is designed like the ball pad of your foot, the heel pad of your foot. It is spring-loaded to articulate the way our ankle works when we walk. So this gives you the largest surface area, fantastic traction on that surface area. So through the entire walking process or your gait, you are getting the utmost in balance and stability to assist you in that walk. You're not keeping up with the cane. You are walking with the cane. So it's just uh, honestly an ingenious design in my estimation. Uh, here is one other factor on this one. It appears, it almost appears like the cane is backwards. Right. And what I mean by that is usually your cane has the handle, if you will, towards you. This one works with the handle away from you. And I'll tell you, it makes perfect sense. You'll notice that there is a subtle dip and bend in the cane. What that does is it brings the cane so that you're, it's a straight arm motion, but it prevents your body from leaning forward. A regular cane, you put your pressure when you're forward. With this one, your pressure is when you're upright. So you've got a full stance here. This allows you to push off and give you that extra lift, and it makes you feel much more secure. Most people, when they walk with a cane, they walk with a cane out in front of them. Mm -hmm. that, that forces the lean. This does the exact opposite. And it takes a couple steps to get used to it, but then you fall into this natural rhythm with it. Exactly. And people who have to wear a cane, use a cane, it should be something that's sporty and fun and colors <laughs> that you like. Something that's an extension of your personality. Everything from the handle of this cane down to the bottom is just a better walking stick. Right, I agree. And you know, you talk about the handle. The handle faces opposite the way you we normally traditionally hold a cane. Well, it's designed that way with a big, wide, soft, fat grip. So again, it's all about utmost in contact with your body and the ground and stability and balance. So this feels good, it grips, it doesn't yeah. hurt the hand, the forearm, the wrist, or the shoulder. And then when you get to that crossbow, it's designed to offset, again, that pressure that happens when you walk. So whether you're talking about yeah. the 
benefits of that hand grip, the benefits of that little degree bend that keeps you balanced, or the utmost imbalance and stability for the largest surface area, which by the way, any terrain, because it disperses debris, yep. water, snow, sand, rocks, gravel away, like the treads of a tire yep. would. But because it's designed to move like our feet do, with that big base and that like, almost the equivalent of a ball of a foot and a heel strike, and then the spring-loaded action as you walk, it really gives you confidence so you can stand upright when you're walking and not be hunched over and not looking. It just keeps people active and moving. I think but that's the intention of a cane. Sure. So when you have a cane that works with you, not against you, and you're not trying to fight it and keep up with it and try to get it to work with you, it just, uh, everything goes smoother. So if you're going uphill or up a step, it's maintaining the contact, and then you don't have to when you're getting down, you're not hunching. This is there. It's just working with you, and it's going to be just a fantastic cane. I, I see ladies in a stiletto heel, and I wonder how they can walk. Uh, a cane, uh -huh. a regular cane, is a pin part of, of just a wooden stick. So doesn't it make sense to have the foot of a cane be considerably larger? Literally, its footprint is going to make you more secure. By the way, the tread on the bottom of that, that's not a fashion design. That's, that's done for a purpose. If you look closely on the edges, you see these slits, and they're on both sides. That's there to push water or any moisture that might be on a surface out from underneath it. So you get a better grip. It's fully adjustable. The way you adjust it is you pop these two levers, and now I can adjust it up or down to whatever I need. It's designed for anyone five foot four up to six foot four. Exactly. Yeah. Four foot six to six foot four, so encompasses a whole range, easy to adjust. You just pull, it's kind of telescoping. You pop that pin back in. It's but nice. it's all about the utmost in support and balance and traction because you've got the biggest foot on any cane I've ever seen. So yep. that's gonna be covering more surface area, helping you to walk instead of you fighting against the cane best cane you, you can walk with in my estimation. Denise is coming back at 3 p.m. An entire hour of the EV Rider mobility scooter. For those people who are looking for the next leg up, so to speak, we'll be showing you those up close, impersonal. We'll be making them affordable and also giving you unique financing for them as well. Denise, it's great to see you. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. If I'm allowed to have my favorite 